Since 1952, this Army Dog Breeding Center and Training School in Rawalpindi has trained hundreds of animals to undertake challenging tasks such as tracking, mine detection, narcotics sniffing, arms and explosive search, and rescue. Arab News will take you inside the center to show how these dogs are trained and what kind of special tasks they can perform. So let's head in. At the moment, we are training more than two to three hundred dogs of different categories. We have nine different courses. So for each course, we require different attributes from the dog. Like in guard dog, we require aggression. Like for sniffer, we require agility plus nose work. So the work depicts the type of the dogs we require. These dogs were part and parcel of every operation. They are working to find the IDs, cache of arm and explosives, and various tracking duties. We have urban search and rescue dog, which participated uh, for the rescue mission in Nepal in 2022 and 2023 in Turkey. In the earthquake, they recovered dead bodies and live animals. We receive uh, students from Army, from Air Force, Navy, uh, as well as from the civil armed forces and uh, law enforcement agencies. At the same time, uh, we trained students from the foreign countries. Uh, mostly they come from uh, the uh, Arab countries and uh, we trained them in the art and science of dog handling. Our dogs uh, are highly trained and they are uh, being sent to foreign countries for different assignment. Just uh, like in 2022 in the FIFA World Cup, 40 of our dog handlers, which were trained here in the same center, were sent to FIFA World Cup with the Pakistan contingent for their security and protection. The dog handlers and their uh, uh, team, they have been recognized internationally by the host country and they've been very successful in their operations.